what's up guys um so i've got another video and in this video what i'm going to touch on is uh, i'm going to tell you the three things that i took away and i learned from training uh for powerlifting and just powerlifting in general um, so let's just jump right into it um, the first thing is to be humble and this could apply uh, for life but this could apply um to bodybuilding and powerlifting, um, and if you're if you're not already humble uh, in what you're doing, whether it be bodybuilding, powerlifting, if you're the biggest guy at your gym or the strongest person at your gym, uh, you go to another gym, you'll quickly get humbled. But anyway, uh, yeah, it'll happen from like one of two reasons. Um, it'll either happen from the start. Uh, some way, some somehow midway, you know, everything could be going great and life issues happen and starts affecting your lifts um, or uh, just the last way at competition because uh, just depending on, you know, where you're competing or whatnot, it's usually, it's usually a lot of competition. So if you think you know everything or you got everything under control, uh, you don't. <laughs> there's, a, there's always something you can learn. And uh, there's always a way to become better, uh, which takes me to uh, my second thing that I've learned, which is ask questions. Um, just like I said, there's always room to learn, always some way you can improve something. Uh, even top lifters um, are always looking at a way, no matter what their programming is or how well they're doing, they're always looking for a way to get better. Uh, or whether that be recovering faster uh, or or just a slight adjustment to the way they squat, bench, whatever. Um, if you have experienced lifters, um, if you have experienced power lifters at your gym, ask them questions. Just pick their brain. Ask away. Um, I'll give you, I mean, I'll give you an example of myself besides asking friends questions continuous questions you know I know I keep harping on this but up until the day of the meet I th I thought I was great and uh, I saw a few people that I've met along the way um, you know through my powerlifting journey and the one thing everyone kept telling me was hey man today just stay hydrated just stay hydrated keep drinking water you know stay hydrated and, uh, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, well, duh, of course, <laughs> that's that's a given. And what ended up happening, I uh, was dying of dehydration, <laughs> throwing up between lifts, whatnot. So, I mean, even up until the day, you know, even up until like hours before the meet, I, I thought I had, uh, you know, I was learning and asking questions along the way. And then, you know, someone told me just stay high a few people told me just stay hydrated stay hydrated rest stay hydrated sure enough you know i learned the hard way but you live and learn so uh yeah so if you don't have anybody at your gym that power lifts or has experience uh google it <laughs> do both um that, that's that's what i would do i would ask questions and um there's there's so many so many ways of learning now. Uh, we have literally information at the palm of our hands. So Google it, YouTube, Facebook, um, social media, Instagram. Uh, Insta Instagram is a great source. Uh, there's so many uh, experienced and elite power lifters on Instagram, uh, on YouTube, that you can ask them questions and uh, believe it or not, ninety percent of the time they'll respond if you if you have a question about that. So you know, use your resources. Don't don't be lazy. There's so much information out there. It's uh, you know, if you're making excuses as for lack of knowledge or information, um, you're you're just being lazy. But <laughs> yeah, so go use social media if you don't have a friend or anyone experienced in your gym. And the last thing, and I believe this is one of the most important things that a lot of people, for whatever reason, even, well, even myself, took a while, but you, you have to do it for yourself. Um, so that's reason number three is do it for yourself. Um, if you're thinking about 
competing in the future, just do it. Um, everyone's waiting for like, uh, and this is going from friends to people I've met at other gyms. Uh, everyone's waiting for like a perfect scenario or a perfect number. Like I can't, you know, I'm only going to do it when I could pause whatever 405 uh, or I could, you know, f f you know, once I could deadlift 600, then, then I'm going to step on stage. But, you know, if you're waiting for the perfect scenario, like in anything, it's never going to happen. Something's going to come up along the way. You, let's, let's say you can do that now and you're, and you're prepping for your next meet and, you know, anything can happen. Family, life, you never know what's going to happen. So just take advantage of your time now and, and just do it. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people wait on like a certain total and uh, you're just putting unnecessary pressure <laughs> on yourself. Um, you know, when you're up there, other than yourself, your friends, your family, nobody cares about what you're going to do. I mean, all the competitors are, uh, for the most part, are, um, you know, they, of course, they want to see you succeed and, hey, did you get your lift? Did you not? You'll get it next time. Um, but they can care less if you bomb out or, or if you hit it uh, for whatever reason. You know, everyone thinks that they're a unique snowflake. You know, I was, before I committed to doing this meet, I thought the same, I thought the same thing, you know, that, that uh, I have to hit this total or I have to be able to squat this much or bench this much or deadlift this much before I should even think about competing. Just do it. Uh, get your feet wet and you never know. Like you could actually, I mean, this is another topic, this is kind of a whole other topic, but um, you can be hitting those numbers and then when it comes on, when it's time to do it, when it's showtime, you could choke. You know, some some people practice better than they perform. So you could, you could hit those numbers that you've been waiting to hit so you can compete and then get up on, get up on the platform and then just completely choke and bomb out just from nervousness. Uh, so lesson of the moral of the story, um, don't wait for like a magic number or a certain total. Just go out there, compete and do your best. Do it for yourself. Compete against yourself. Um, now if there's someone, you know, within, a range of numbers in your weight class, you know, of course, you got to work harder, but again, you're going to try to beat yourself and, uh, and then, you know, let the numbers do the talking. But, uh, that's it guys. Those are the three things I learned most from getting into powerlifting and preparing for the past meet. Thanks again for watching. Please guys do not forget to like. The video it really helps the channel grow uh comment don't don't be afraid to leave a comment and subscribe if you aren't already thanks again for watching guys